Hey guys, I'm featuring the following video on my channel by I don't know what's RC, and in my opinion he's probably one of the best guide makers out there at the moment. I believe that this guide is currently the fastest melee training method available in the game at the moment, and that's faster than zombies and monkey guards. You guys might not have heard of this method before, I certainly haven't, so I hope you enjoy the video, and be sure to check out his channel if you like his sexy accent. Okay, so in this video we'll show how to train combat by killing wire watches. So they have a quite high combat level with a lot of life plan, and one of the special thing about them is that they can only be owned by an Eventus, Flail, or Blisterwood weapon. They also drop a lot of runes and quite a lot of effigies. In order to kill the warrior watches to train melee, you will have to do the quest branches of the Dark Mayor until a certain point. This means that you don't have to kill the boss to use this method. By using this experience chart, you can find out how many experience per hour you should get. So the minimum is 110k experience per hour and this is obtained by having the PT Prayer, a Super Set, level 85 Strength and Attack, a normal Berserker Ring, and a furry with any armor. However, if you have extreme potions instead of super potion, you will get a 5% bonus experience per hour. And if you have a full bandage, you will get a 3% bonus. If you have a furry over a glory, you will get a 1% bonus, and so on and so on. The maximum experience you can get is around 160k per hour. Okay, so for example, if you have a furry using extreme potions, having a netium and a full bandos by using PT and having level 90 and strength and attack, you should get around 126k experience per hour. Okay, so the best equipment to kill them is to have a full melee void set, which can be obtained by playing the pest control minigame. The weapon I recommend to use is the blister wood polar arm which is very effective against the wire watch. If you don't remember how to make one, I will explain this later in this guide. For those who don't want to play the pest control minigame, they can use this outfit. So the main difference between this one and the other one is that you're using a Bendos chestplate and a Bendos tasset with a Nets Elm and a Goliath or Boros Club. So the experience between the two set is quite the same. For the full downgrade list, check the description below. This is the inventory you should use while training at the Wire Watch. If you don't remember how to get the Dark Mayor outfit, I will show it later in this guide. The Wire Watches can be found in the Dark Mayor city, and the fastest way to get there is to use a Drake and Medellin. The spot I recommend to train at is north of the Blisterwood tree where you can get a blister wood log to make a blister wood polar arm. Many players think that training near the Atlor is the best spot because you don't have to use prayer potions, but in fact there are not enough monsters near the Atlor, so you will lose a lot of experience and anyway, prayer potions only cost around 50k GP per hour and you will make way more cash by training at my spot with the loots and everything. If you want to access the bank, you will have to have a Dark Mayor outfit, and if you have lost it or destroyed it, you can get it back by looting the chest in the southeast of the city. Okay, so teleport to the Dark Mayor city with your minion, and run west, then north, then east to the spot I showed before in this video. This is where the bank is, so this is where you will go when all your potions are used you want to bank. I will explain it later in this guide. So when you arrive to the spot, turn on your protect from melee prayer and your turn one, you can put it in the quick prayer, so it's easy to click. Don't forget to drink a dose of your overload or your extreme potion and start attacking them.
At first there will not be many water watches to kill, but don't worry, many more will come later. A good way to attract them faster and more easily is to open the doors near the area where you are killing them. If it's your first time here, I highly recommend to pick up the fire corpse that they are dropping. I will explain it in detail later in this guide. As you can see now, there are many bio watchers to attack. However, I do not recommend to go inside the house because it might happen that the monster will be stuck outside and won't be able to attack you. So when you have to bank, simply go into an empty building and close the door. Use your special medallion and teleport to the Dark Mayor. And while you are inside the building, equip all the Dark Mayor outfit so they won't start attacking you. You need to wear the outfit if you want to bank. So go to the bank and <laughs> withdraw all the items you need for a longer run. Please take note that the median doesn't have infinity charge, so you might have to recharge it. So to do this, it's quite simple, you teleport to Birth Rot, and you go to the little cave. Right there. So inside the little cave, simply click on the fountain, and all the charges will be back. The first time you will try out this method, you will find out that you don't get that much experience per hour, and this is because the Blizzard World Polo Arm is a quite special weapon. Effectively, you will have to improve it in order to get the maximum experience rate per hour, and the way to improve it is to cremate water corpse. So for every 50 bodies that you cremate, you will get a little damage increasement, and so if you want the best experience per hour, you will have to cremate 500 water bodies. To cremate the corpse, you will obviously need a fire corpse, which will be in your inventory. A fast way to collect them is to use your packet special abilities to send them directly to your bank. In your familiar inventory, you will put 28 fire teeth logs, which can be bought at the Grand Exchange. Finally, don't forget to put a tinderbox in your tool belt. The only place where you can cremate the bodies is in the part of your thermos, which can be easily accessed by using the ferro ring DKS. Okay, so withdraw all your pirate logs and store them all into your familiar. Then withdraw 24 fire corpse. After that, teleport to the relic slayer dungeon if you have a slayer ring, or simply run east of Edgeville into the little ferro ring there. But using a Slayer Ring is slightly faster, so this is why I'm showing it right now. So select the CTS code to go to the Canifis spot, where the Pardedomus is nearby. 
run northwest and you will enter the little temple there. Run southwest once again and climb downstairs. And here you are at the Pader Domus. Okay, so once you're there, drop one of the fire corpse on the ground to withdraw at least one logs from your familiar. Don't forget to select the left option of your familiar to take Bob. So take back your corpse and withdraw one more logs from your familiar and then light everything up. Every time you set one of the fire corpse in fire, you will receive a little key that will be used later. So take the key, withdraw one more logs, use it on the little thing, use the fire corpse on it and light everything. So repeat this again and again until all the corpse are all burnt. Using a pack act, you should be able to burn around 240 corpses per hour. Once they are all burnt and your inventory is full of keys, you will want to open the little lockers nearby. So simply spam click on the lockers until they are all used. Every time you open the locker you will receive a special item. Sometimes you will even receive charms. And if you need more inventory, don't forget that you have a familiar. When all the keys are used, simply teleport back to Edgeville with your glory and repeat again and again. If you want to know if you have really burned 500 of them, you can go and check in the little lantern south of the Paderdomus. If you really have burned that many, it should display this little message. Let's compare the fire watches and the zombies. So the fire watches give better experience per hour, give better cash, better XPGs, and they are not crowded at all. However, they do not give experience in summoning, except if you cremate the bodies and use the keys on the lockers to get a few charms. But anyway, it's not a lot of summoning experience. And they also need a lot of quests to be killed. 